Hi, welcome to ERP Next tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create and purchase transactions like purchase order, purchase receipt, and invoice in ERP Next. To place a new order to your supplier, create new purchase order. You can create a new purchase order by entering details manually, or you can also pull details from the these transactions. Let's pull the items from material request. Let's pull the items from material request. You can use these options to filter result. We have items fetched from material request. Select a supplier. In this section you can select suppliers currency and price list from where items rate will be fetched. Select a warehouse in which this item will be received. On submission of purchase order, ordered quantity will be updated in this warehouse. Select taxes and charges applicable. Let's save this purchase order. To check preview of this order, click here. This is a preview of your purchase order. Once a purchase order is submitted, you can create purchase receipt, purchase invoice and advance payment entry against it. When actually receiving items from your supplier, purchase receipt will be created. In the purchase receipt, only the items which are being received in the shipment will be kept. For rest of the items, you can create another purchase receipt. Enter received, accepted and rejected quantity for this item. Select accepted warehouse. Rejected warehouse will be selected only if there is rejected quantity. For the serialized and batched item, Enter relevant details in this section. Let's save and submit this purchase receipt. On submission of a purchase receipt, stock of item will be added in your warehouse. As per the perpetual inventory valuation system, Stock value is added in the warehouse account, which is a current asset account, and other account affected is stock received but not billed, which gets nullified in the purchase invoice. Now let's create a purchase invoice from a purchase receipt. You can also create a purchase invoice from a purchase order. Purchase invoice is an accounting transaction. On submission of a purchase invoice, payables are updates towards the supplier. Select an expense account here. As per the perpetual inventory valuation system, for the stock item, expense is booked when it is delivered. Hence for the stock item, expense account will be replaced with stock received but not billed account. Payable account of the supplier is updated in this field. Let's save and submit this invoice. Check accounting ledger for this purchase invoice from here. When making payment to the supplier, create payment entry from here. Supplier details will be updated in this section. Enter exact amount being paid to the supplier. The payment amount will be allocated against the invoice in the below table. Enter deductions if any, like difference availed due to currency exchange rate. Enter payment acknowledgement details here. Now, we can save and submit this payment entry.
Once full payment is made to supplier, status of purchase invoice will be updated as paid, and status of purchase receipt and purchase order will be updated as completed. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.